Hello everyone. Recently, the most common question in an interview when you apply for an AI or data science related job is, what is the difference between all these branches? So here I will explain the difference clearly and cover all the new algorithms by 2024. So let's look at this Venn diagram. First is AI, Artificial Intelligence. And I'm pretty sure you all know what is AI. It is the bigger framework that contains various areas. ML, Machine Learning, is the subset of AI and the Deep Learning is the subset of Machine Learning. Whereas, Data Science integrates various techniques from Computer Science, Statistics, and also from AI, ML and Deep Learning to analyze data and explore the relationships between the data. So here we can see that data science overlaps for all these branches. First, let's look at AI. So AI, the most fascinating terms nowadays. It is the field in which we try to mimic human behavior by developing artificial system. So it builds an application or system that can perform given task without human intervention. Such a system should solve problems. It should have reasoning ability, decision making, and it should process natural language. So these are the core characteristics of AI. Till now, various approaches have been used to implement AI. The most common and we know is machine learning which is very successful nowadays. Some of the other ways of implementing AI are robotics, expert systems, fuzzy logic based systems and genetic algorithm. As we saw earlier, machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence that is focused on developing algorithms that can learn from the data without explicitly programming. Here, explicitly programming means we don't have to program it for every single task. Uh, this ML algorithm can take decision for the data outside the training data set also. Now broadly, machine learning can be classified into supervised learning, unsupervised learning, semi-supervised learning and reinforcement learning. In supervised learning, we have labeled data. We train algorithms on the label data set. Here, the goal is to map input-output relation. Once the algorithm is trained, we expect the algorithm to be, uh, we expect the desired output for the given input. And this kind of learning is useful to solve classification and regression problems. Second is unsupervised learning, where we don't have label data. Data is unlabeled and our goal is to uh, infer the natural structure present within the data set. Such kind of learning is used for clustering. Next is semi-supervised learning. So this type of learning falls between supervised and unsupervised learning. Unsupervised learning uses small amount of labeled data and large amount of unlabeled data set. And the last one is reinforcement learning. Here an agent is trained to make sequence of decisions by rewarding or penalizing the actions we take. The algorithm tries to get uh, maximum rewards. So if we look at the underlying concept behind machine learning, neural networks are the B class. There are many different machine learning algorithms like random forest, SPM, linear regression, but neural network is the most successful and popular. So if we took a look at the neural network in machine learning, it looks like this, this one. So here we have one input layer. Here this is hidden layer. It can be one or two and this is the output layer. Now what is deep learning? It uses a neural network with many hidden layers. Deep learning subset of ML that uses neural network with multi layer that can model complex relations between input and output. So here this is neural network in machine learning and this is neural network in deep learning. So deep neural networks uh, are much more complex and it can solve many complex relations between the data. 
So here are the types of deep neural network. First is feed forward neural network that is the simplest and earliest version of the neural network. It is used to solve both classification and regression problems. CNN is the most popular for image classification, a convolution neural network that extracts local spatial features from an image and combines the local spatial features to higher order features. Next is recurrent neural network that are most, uh, mostly used for time series data. Next is GAN that is that stands for generative adversarial network. It is a method for generative modeling that generates a new set of data based on the training data set that looks similar. Nowadays, we are hearing the term defake. It's the best example of GAN. Defake is a video of a person in which their face or body can digitally altered so that they appear to be someone else. Next is autoencoders. It is the class of deep learning that can learn efficient representation of input data with no need for the labels. The hottest topic, transformers. Transformers are the hero nowadays. It is the technology behind chat GPT and it is also used in BART archi architecture in NLP. And also two others are radial base function and self-organizing maps. So now what is data science? Data science is simply interdisciplinary field which integrates maths, statistics and programming. It also uses AI, ML and deep learning to uncover the relation between the data. So here are few aspects of the data science that is data collection, data preparation, model building and evolution and model deployment. So this is the difference of AI, ML, DL and DS. I hope it will be fairly clear to you all now. Thank you.